All right, this is the last video. This is for cleanup, uh, just for the last part of the procedure. So I'll give you enough time at the end of class to thoroughly clean up, uh, get your organism put away, uh, things like that. So first thing that will happen is to have your uh, organism added to your storage bag. This is mentioned in the materials portion. Uh, you just add your organism, uh, or wrap your organism in a wet paper towel so it remains damp, put it in the bag, and make sure you put your name on it. Uh, any organs that you want to save that may have fallen out or want to, or you removed, uh, follow the same procedure. Uh, just add them to here. Uh, for cleanup of solid waste, so you might end up with some skin pieces, some muscle that you aren't going to necessarily use again, uh, you know, whatever else you, you may have removed, uh, all solid materials go in the garbage. Uh, you don't wash organs, solid pieces into the sink because we don't want to clog the sinks. There will be juices. The juices can go down the sink but solid material needs to go in the garbage can. Uh, other cleanup involves our materials, so there's sinks around the rooms. Uh, wash the uh, materials and return them to the bin or uh, the overall storage compartment for the materials. Uh, so again, just soap and water, rinse these off, that way the next person who uses them can. I know I've been wearing a glove this whole time and uh, there will be gloves, so uh, you know, keep these on until you're done uh, with with cleanup uh, and I'll show you how to remove the gloves also. Uh, the last thing for cleanup uh, we have the two trays uh, so again you rinse this out again no solid material down the sink into the garbage can uh, wash it off again just a little soap and water you know I'm not looking for immaculate cleanliness but clean enough where the next person can use it without guts being left over or, or something like that when you finish washing this and the tray, uh, just to help it dry, turn the blue pad sideways. Uh, this way it dries, we don't have mold grow underneath uh, the pad or in the tray. Uh, with the wax tray, uh, the downside of the wax trays, as I mentioned in the other video, is that they are a little, um, they are more sturdy, but they're not as easy to clean. So when you, if you end up with a wax tray, there probably will be hair left over in it, things like that that get stuck in the wax, but just do your best. Uh, get rid of all solid material, get rid of the juices, uh, give this a rinse, and if there's nothing you can do, just place this back where you found it. You don't have to move the wax uh, or anything like that. Uh, if you end up with a wax tray, also do not carve into this. Uh, I wrote someone up last year for that, so keep that in mind as you're working. Uh, the last little bit of material and cleanup. So you'll have a glove, you'll have two gloves, uh, I just didn't want to waste two. And you don't necessarily need them either. Uh, they are nice. Uh, it keeps your hands a little cleaner, you can move in and out of, of touching stuff that you want to keep clean. Pencil, pen, whatever. Uh, so you can have two things, a clean hand and a dirty hand, or two dirty hands, whatever. Uh, when it comes time to move, and when you put them on, kind of before you get started, uh, if they're loose enough or if you have enough material left, uh, you can kind of pre-roll them so you can have these ahead of time. That way when you go to remove them, if you imagine you have two gloves, you can take your other gloved hand and grab it, and this way you have this already looped over so you're not touching your wrist, you aren't at anything else, and really this is good if you're interested in nursing, anything like that. Uh, this is how you remove gloves. When I was a first responder, this is how I remove my gloves. So again, if you imagine I have a glove on my other hand, you pull it off, now it's inside out. A lot of the material is trapped in here. With your other gloved hand, just kind of suck it up into your hand. Now with your clean hand, you grab the wrist portion of the other glove, pull it up, and then this will be encased in that other glove and you can throw away the whole thing together without getting your hands dirty again. But again, wait until after you clean to take your hands out of the gloves. Uh, you'll only get one set per day, so if you remove them, if they end up dirty, you know, you're kind of done. You'll still have to participate in cleanup, uh, but you'll just have to wash your hands. And again, that's not a bad thing, it's just more personal preference and switching in between. Uh, I've done dissections barehanded before, it's not an issue. Uh, I probably won't because I have a young child who still, you know, grabs onto my hands, things like that. Uh, again, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to let me know, but hopefully this was helpful.